jubilation at Likud party headquarters after the most skilled campaigner in Israel's history came from behind once again. It's a win against all odds because we stood up against the powerful forces. They already eulogized us. Our enemies said the Netanyahu era is over, but we turned the plate on its head. Likud's victory puts the prime minister right on the edge of a governing majority. He was in the same position last year and failed. But the people celebrating here tonight believe this time he won't be denied. Exit polls gave the parties on the right at least 59 seats, just short of the 61 needed to end the Knesset logjam. But the full vote count could take days, and that makes for some anxious moments. We're hoping it's going to be 61, and then we don't need anybody, and whoever wants to come is welcome. And whoever doesn't, we can still manage a government. Still, Netanyahu's rival, blue and white leader Benny Gantz, refused to concede. We created something called blue and white. We merged our documents and principles to one place, and I am telling you that we won't compromise on our principles and our way. In past campaigns, Likud counted on former defense minister Avigdor Lieberman as a solid part of the right-wing bloc. But he started the election stalemate last year and says he won't compromise now. We don't plan to move one millimeter from what we promised, from what we committed to our voters. Even if Gantz and Lieberman won't compromise, the Likud camp believes in coming days they can find Knesset members from the left or the center to join them and save Israelis from a fourth election. John Wagi, CBN News, Likud headquarters, Tel Aviv.